going to jump right into it because as y'all can tell, I showed up a little bit late. So I'm going to talk to y'all about how we use Databricks to reduce our recruiting costs. But what is important, a little bit about me. So I know lots of people get up here and they talk about like, you know, their profiles and whatnot. I figure we do something a little bit different. Two truths and a lie. Some of y'all may be familiar with this. So there are three things on this screen. Two of those things are a truth. One of them is a lie. So by show of hands, how many of y'all believe that number one, my daily driving vehicle is a 800 horsepower Dodge Challenger Hellcat? How many people believe that's a lie? Okay, there's a few. I like it. I like it. How about... um? I'm from the Seattle area. I play bass in a Seattle rock band and we have released three albums on vinyl. How many believe that is a lie? Oh, okay. I don't look like a bass player. I dig it. And then finally, how many believe this is my first time presenting here at the Data and AI Summit? There's a couple over here. I will let y'all know it's number three that is actually the lie. I have not, or rather, I have presented here at the Data and AI Summit a few times before. Yes, I do in fact have an 800 horsepower beast of a vehicle that I drive on a daily basis. And yes, despite some of y'all, I do in fact play bass in a Seattle rock band. We have released some albums on vinyl. So if you wanna learn more about that, let me know. So let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about the situation. Let's talk about numbers. So if you're in organizations, you have recruiters and recruiters go forth and they talk to lots of people, uh, posts are made and whatnot. And so on average, when we post a role, there's about 15 resumes that are very talented technical recruiters send out to technical folks, solution architects, dev managers, people like myself for review. And from a time perspective, it takes us about 15 minutes to actually review those resumes. And so if you take in kind of the average cost from an hourly basis, it's about 25 bucks per resume to review. So if you take this all in, total roll, all the resumes that get sent down to technical people, it's about 375 bucks. We'll call it $400 for the sake of easy math. And if you take in consideration it on, on average, we have about 25 open roles that we have any given month. You can go to our website right now and see them. So if you take all that in aggregate, it's about nine grand a month it costs the organization to actually review those resumes. And for the year, about $110,000 is what it costs our organization for our technical people to review those resumes, which is not exactly a small number. So as lots of organizations have done, we asked the question, hey, could Gen AI actually reduce our recruiting costs and what would that look like? So we had this idea. Um, you go back to, what is it, 2022, I think it was, when ChatGPT came out and everybody was like, oh, this is the greatest thing since sliced apple pie. And so we said, okay, well, could we feed a resume to an LLM, give it a prompt, and then allow it to give a recommendation as to whether or not an individual should move forward in the recruiting process, actually go through that, that interview process. And so off we went. And so this was the original POC that we did. We started with a Python application using Flask. And at the time we were like, okay, open AI, we'll use their APIs because they were super simple to work with. It was great. And then we were on GCP, Google Cloud Platform. 
and we were logging everything in the Firebase. So you can kind of see here what we were going through and how we was going to do it. And we were like, cool, this actually works. But it comes down to the learnings. And there were a lot of them, but there's a couple I'll share with y'all. One of them is back then, we, um, from a prompt perspective, um, if you guys have all seen the sort of prompt engineer, right? That's a very real job title. And we were going through a lot to figure out that one massive prompt to rule them all. And let me tell you, we went through a lot to try to figure out that one prompt that would get us to the, to the actual, hey, should this individual actually move forward in an interview loop? But more importantly, we realized that although these individuals are submitting their resumes to us and a lot of that information is in fact on LinkedIn, we weren't comfortable actually like sending that information out of, of our world. So we said, okay, we got to keep it within our four walls and we weren't comfortable sending them out. So we had to think a little bit differently about how we did it. So we changed things up and the application itself changed a lot, but you can see here that we kept the, the relative architecture the same, but the big move we made was we kept everything within Databricks. That was our choice. So everything from Unity Catalog, Vector Search had come out in private preview at that point in time, and then foundation models. That was a big one for us. And at this point in time, um, or rather previously, if you guys, how many remember Dolly when Dolly came out? Yes, 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 yes. So we gave that one a go and then you fast forward, I don't know, a couple months or so and then foundation models became available. Llama 2, Llama 3, and then finally into DBRX. And so we made this change so we could keep things within our four walls, which led us This is where I wanted to get you all to. This is a look at the application itself. So we wanted to have a little fun with it because our, our recruiters were going to be the ones that were using it and we were influenced by the movie Pulp Fiction. How many people here are familiar with that? Yes, yes, I love it, I love it. Uh, so what we did was we took a, instead of doing the massive one prompt to rule them all, we actually run it through multiple bots. So there is a bot named Vincent. There is a bot named Jules. There is a bot named Winston. And so each of these bots are responsible for a very particular purpose when they're reviewing a resume. One of them is responsible for reviewing the experience levels of the people that, of, of the resume. Another, pe another bot is responsible for reviewing the, the technical ability. And then finally, Winston there, as you see right there in the middle, he's responsible for taking in all of the feedback from the other two and giving that final recommendation as to whether or not the individual should move forward in the interview process. And what we wanted was not only, hey, the thumbs up or thumbs down type of thing, but also hey, what are some interview questions? What are some recommendations you have for the interview that we give? And so you guys can kind of see here, number one, our recruiters loved this. They loved using it, it was really fun for them. So 100% adoption rate by our recruiters, which is significant because we have a fairly significant number of recruiters and you can see there that 70% reduction in tech reviews. Um, it isn't ideal, I get it, because you want to see that number at 100%, but we also go through a loop where we review whether or not the, the reviews are actually good or not. So we still send resumes down to our, to our technical folks to review. 
And then finally, you can see that bottom number at the bottom there. We're forecasting about 60,000 of reduction in cost this year alone. And so this is how it turned out. Now for everyone here, I have a few things for you. Number one, if you guys are curious to see how this works, watch it in person, try it out, all these different things. Um, over at the W across the street, we got an ideation lounge. Please come over there. I'll be over there. You can come talk to me and it'll be a lot of fun. But number two, there's a series of notebooks there. This is just for y'all, by the way. This is the first time anyone has seen this. Those notebooks, um, I, that's the POC that I actually built along the way to get to that application itself. And you can try it out. It's a complete set of notebooks, everything. It gets, your, uh, gets you set up on Unity Catalog and all those good things, all the way down to an actual chat bot that is running inside of Databricks. In fact, I use that very same set of notebooks to create a drink recommendation bot that is at that ideation lounge. So you can see that in, in, in a flight. So please, by all means, take pictures. I love seeing all of those things. And with that, that is me, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we reduce recruiting in our organization with Gen AI.